What's up, guys? It's Eli and friends. It's your boy Eli, and it's Jerry, and we're hey. back with another movie review in quarantine. I'm in the United States. He's in a disclosed location. We can't say. Planet X. Planet X. And we're reviewing the movie, the Netflix movie, Extraction. And it's a movie about Chris Hemsworth's character. And he has to get this character that was kidnapped. And he's distracting him from point A to point B and trying to stay alive while keeping him alive. And a lot of plot twists and action happen. It's the plot of the movie. Uh, there's more to that now. Okay, you give uh, you tell them what the movie's about then. I was just giving like a simple rundown, so I won't really spoil okay, it. Okay, so basically Extraction is a movie about a mercenary who gets hired to do uh to grab a, a kidnapped kid and take it to its father who was like the drug lord of India. So we got like the cartel of India and like the cartel of Bangladesh and their rival gangs. So the cartel of Bangladesh kidnaps the son of the drug lord of the cartel of India. That's what the whole movie is about is trying to grab that kid to safe and the mercenary who was Prince Hemworth, aka Thor, was the one, you know, making the deal. All right, so the movie, like how we said, the story is pretty simple. But the movie's not for the story. The movie's for the action. This is some John Wick level action movie right here. Chris Hemsworth, they made this man become Captain America and Bucky combined. Like if you like the Bucky and Captain America fights in the Marvel, you're gonna enjoy this because this man is out here killing. All the characters out here killing. It's like you're playing Uncharted. That's pretty much how it feels. So if you like action, really enjoy it. Like the story isn't bad. It's just a simple story. And it, the reason why the story is simple, really, is for the action. But the story can get a little complex at times because it's like betrayal and like what's going on with this. But it's pretty much two games and then a third party as well. That's a part of one of the games. And yeah, I hope that wasn't confusing. But I recommend it. <laughs> well, me personally, we have Bollywood with um, gangs, gang violence, and we also have Thor. And those three together is not something common. It is super weird, super rare, and super fuck, uh, su mm, super strange. But at the end of the day, this is a type of movie that Bollywood kind of just made it back to to its fame in America. So I I liked it so far and I'm gonna touch base on one of the actresses. Her name is Gaushifet Farahani, who is uh, one of the female main characters of Extraction. And she's basically the chick with short hair and is like the leader of the group of mercenaries who's supposed to get the kid. And I'm just letting y'all know, not only she's super hot, <laughs> but she's the first Iranian actress to perform in a Western movie after the right after the Iranian Revolution, which was like 30 years ago. So that is huge part in history this movie had just made just by having that actress in in a Western movie. I mean it's Bollywood but it's, you know Western. So I kind of like that and the idea of, you know, I just, I mean, I live in the Middle East right now, but the idea of having that culture and scenario mixed with action, it's like, you don't, you don't see a lot of stereotypical Indian movies where, you know, you just have a lot of action in, in, the, West, in the Western Hemisphere, you know, it's more like, Oh, you got this like lovey-dovey story in the middle of India and somebody gets cheated on or whatever. But this kind of broke that stereotype and I really like that, that the fact we got a movie that broke that stereotype of what Indian culture is. And it is a lot of plot twists, a lot of action. And I loved it. Very militaristic. And yeah, I guess I, Not much to say. I really enjoyed it. I like how it showed off this uh, city too. 
Like the movie showed off the city by a lot because pretty much the whole entire movie just going through the city. I guess like it actually showed like raw footage footage of the city, like actual people just walking around the city. Yeah, they were just recording at that point. And I like that one scene with the car chase. And you notice it was like oh, yeah. one complete scene. <laughs> like the scene just kept on going. It wasn't like a cut. That was almost a Fast and the Furious type thing right there. Yeah. It was a scene they got off the car and the action still kept on. It was just like one scene. I really liked that. So, yeah. If you got Netflix, yeah. check it out. If you like Chris Hemsworth, check it out. Yeah. Anything last words? Um, yeah. Go watch it. If you like John Wick, if you like Thor, if you like Indian movies, if you like action movies, that's the that's the movie you should be watching right there. Me, I'll rate it from eight out of ten. And it's probably one of my favorite movies of 2020. Eight out of ten as well. Yeah. Yep. We stay inside, self-quarantine, so we can get out of the house. Peace. Peace.